Hello and welcome to our at-home children's program for the Brandt Museum and Archive in honor of Museum Month. This week's activity is inspired by Brantford's own Lauren Harris, member of the famous Group of Seven. We are asking the children visiting our site to examine some of Harris's paintings by playing the generic game. Afterwards, we will ask them to re recreate their surrounding landscape inside or outside in one of Harris's styles and share it with us through social media, either on Instagram or Facebook. Lauren Harris was born in Brantford, Ontario on October 23, 1885 to Thomas Morgan Harris and Anna Stewart. He was the grandson of Allison Harris, a wealthy businessman, and due to this family wealth, he was a founding member and major sponsor of the Group of Seven. He funded the construction of their studio space in Toronto and many of their expeditions across Canada. For the first part of the activity, we're asking children to be engaging with Harris's work by following along with the video and thinking about and answering the questions being asked. Here are the questions I'll be asking for each piece of art. Feel free to pause after every question to give yourself plenty of time to think and answer. The questions can also be found on the PDF available on our Facebook page. What colors do you see? What objects or shapes can you see? What is going on or happening in the art? Does anything you have noticed in the art remind you of something in your life? Is this art true to life? How real does it look? What ideas or emotions do you think the art expresses? How do you think the artist felt when making this work of art? How does it make you feel? And what would you call the art if you had made it? What colors do you see? What objects or shapes can you see? What is going on or happening in the art? Does anything you have noticed in the art remind you of something in your life? Is this art true to life? How real does it look? What ideas or emotions do you think the art expresses? How do you think the artist felt when making this work of art? How does it make you feel? And what would you call the art if you had made it? What colors do you see? What objects or shapes can you see? What is going on or happening in the art? Does anything you have noticed in the art remind you of something in your life? Is this art true to life? How real does it look? What ideas or emotions do you think the art expresses? How do you think the artist felt when making this work of art? How does it make you feel? And what would you call the art if you had made it? The final questions I want you to consider are number nine, compare all the artwork. What are their similarities and differences? And lastly, thinking back to your previous observations, what have you discovered about Lauren Harris and his artwork? Have you learned anything ab about yourself? For the second part of the activity, A, after being inspired by Harris's artistic styles, we ask you to use any art media or tools available to paint and draw a landscape shape you see every day to create your own artwork. Or you can copy one of Harris's his artworks as many artists learn by copying their teachers. And don't forget to sign your work. The first step is to gather your supplies. The second step is to pick your landscape. This can be inside within your home, or by looking out the window, sitting in your backyard or front yard, any place that inspires you. For step three, it's time to start sketching your landscape. For step four, try adding some detail or keep it simple or go all out. If you do want to add more detail, try adding some shading, texture, color, or depth to the objects in your artwork. And last but not least, step five. When you are finished, share your masterpiece on social media. Tag or private message us at Brant Historical Society to be featured as an artist on our Instagram and Facebook museum. Thank you everyone so much for participating in our activity and listening to our video. I wish you all the best on your artworks and I can't wait to see them.